today the name of the game is housework. I have a bunch of stuff that I want to get done around the house so I kind of held off on putting my makeup on for the day so far because I'm going to be like running around and I just feel like it'll just go all messed up anyways so yeah I have a load of laundry running. Uh, it's in the dryer actually now so I'll be able to fold it soon. The next thing I want to really focus on is I want to vacuum my whole house from top to bottom like really kind of get like a good deep vacuuming going because I honestly I've been a little slacking on that chore so it just really needs like a good thorough vacuuming. So I have both of the little doggies here with me. I got my one little doggie and I got my two little doggie over here. <laughs> half on our entry mat, half off high pants. You see pee? <laughs> so hopefully they won't mind too much that I'm vacuuming and if they do I can just wait until Rufio leaves this evening and then kind of like you know hold off on doing the living rooms. They're pretty much just in the living room so I can do all the other rooms and then hit the living room later. But if you can hear again, my nose is starting to get crazy stuffy, which is another reason that I like, I, I'm pretty sure that's a pregnancy symptom. I mean, it was like better. And all of a sudden I can't breathe at night anymore. I'm like straight up breathing through my mouth all night long now because my nose is just so stuffed up. I like sound like I'm sick all the time. So I'm hoping it's a pregnancy symptom obviously, but either way, it's super irritating. And I just feel like I just sound like I'm sick all the time. But anyways, so laundry, vacuuming, and then I have a whole bunch of uh, pots and pans that I want to get washed today. And those are the three big ones that I want to tackle and then I'll kind of move on to uh, smaller ones. But yeah, let's get started. vacuuming my entire house and I'm a little concerned because I think my fancy new Dyson might be like broken I don't even know it won't like stay on so whenever I press the trigger button this is what it does I'm holding the trigger button so I don't know why that why that's happening but that's not good and I can't freaking vacuum and I really need to vacuum, so I don't know. <laughs> Update, when I take it off the like long stick part, works just fine. So I'm glad to know it's not the actual like vacuum part of it that's broken. So it's something about like the attachment. Maybe it's not like attached enough to the stick or something. I don't know, but it makes me feel a little better that my Dyson's not actually broken. <laughs> so hopefully I can get it figured out and fixed so I can actually vacuum my house. Okay, update number two. It is definitely 100% that piece that's causing the issue because it runs fine when it's just connected to the stick. It runs fine when there's other attachments at the end of the stick. And whenever either the, like, you know, the actual motor part or the stick part is connected to that, that's when the issue starts. So I'm trying to decide if I wanna go ahead and try and vacuum some of my house with that attachment. And I'm thinking it wouldn't actually work that well, but I'm desperate. I was so excited to like get a deep clean vacuum and I don't know why this isn't working. I like cleaned it out. When I first pulled it off, there was like, it seemed like it was kind of clogged up. So I was like, oh good, that's the issue. But no, I've like thoroughly cleaned this now and it's still not working. So if any of you have any suggestions on what to try to get this to work again, let me know. Okay, this is super gross, but I think I found the issue, and now I'm sure you guys are probably super invested in this problem. <laughs> but um, So I'm doing a little bit of vacuum surgery, and I took off just this piece that kind of covers up right there. And I think this is just super clogged, and so the air can't really suction up. That's what I'm hoping is the problem now. So I'm going to go ahead and get this all super cleaned out, and hopefully my vacuum works again. test. Yay! <laughs> I fixed my vacuum. I feel so super accomplished and this is probably the weirdest vlog you have ever watched. <laughs> but now back to actually vacuuming my house.
right, so I just completely finished the first floor right when my vacuum died, so perfect timing. I'm also in need of a break, so I'm gonna get this all charged up, take a break, and then um, vacuum the second floor, and I also saved the rugs on the first floor since I knew I wouldn't, like, since I'm doing such an intense vacuum, I knew the charge wouldn't last as long as it did if I did the rugs at the same time, so yeah, I'm gonna do the second floor and then the rugs in the bedroom, living, and dining room, and then I'll be done for the day. Well, not done for the day, but done vacuuming. <laughs> Right, I think the rest of the vacuuming might just kind of have to wait till tomorrow because I'm just done with doing housework for the day. I'm tired and I want to just sit down and work on some of my stuff. So yeah, I'm gonna do just that. All right, Miles is home from, whoop, we are zoomed in. Miles is home from work and he's doing more of the same stuff he was doing yesterday, just finishing up in the kitchen. So pulling out all the old like screws and anchors and brackets and what have you and filling it in. And yeah, so we don't have any more holes in our wall. <laughs> All right, sir, are you ready to call it a night? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm so ready to snuggle into bed. I'm tired after running around the house doing all that cleaning today. I'm sleepy. I'm sleepy. Yeah, we didn't. We went to bed way late tonight or last night. So poor Miles didn't get. I can't much shower. Sleep. What? Oh I can't yeah. Shower. Okay, so I haven't really updated or told you guys what's going on because it. I don't know. <laughs> but um there was a, mo a water main break down our street and so our street doesn't have any water which stinks luckily it happened after i washed all of our dishes and did all of our laundry so it really only went out like maybe around five yeah like say. 5 30 it went out 5 30 yeah it was before miles got home when i noticed it for the first time um and all of our neighbors have been in like a group chat <laughs> kind of like yeah. updating and talking about it for a while like there was um like a hole in the middle of the street before like any of the trucks came or anything and there was like water shooting out of it <laughs> like a couple feet up into the air one of our neighbors said which was pretty impressive but yeah not much is being done to fix the problem at the moment which is well that's why they turned the water off because like it was just like a like hole with, like a like, geyser blowing water <laughs> out of it this morning i guess yeah but then they turned. They must have turned it off because it started spraying up out of the ground. Yeah. So who knows when we'll get our water back? Hopefully tomorrow. I mean, I don't know. Miles stopped on his way home and got a big jug of water with like a spout to like use for drinking water and for his coffee in the morning. My tea. Oh, I forgot about coffee. What do you mean you forgot about coffee? I don't want to go out of work without showering. I'm sorry. My hair's gross. Sorry. I have dirty hair. You could go use my parents' basement shower. <laughs> when? Before you go to work. Oh my god, I have to get up at like 5 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, it's that or be dirty. <laughs> I'd rather be dirty. I know. <laughs> um, yeah, so I hope we have water back. Because that's going to be really irritating to like have to go through a whole another day without water. So wish us luck. <laughs> But yeah, that was our excitement for the evening. You don't realize how much you use water until you don't have it. By the I way. know, right? I kept doing things like um, we have a water bowl for Dakota down here, and so when we came down, I like dumped it out to refill it in the downstairs sink, and then I was like, oh, right, we don't have water, so I had to bring it back upstairs. Like I keep trying to get water from the fridge, and like, yeah, yeah, it's weird not having water. It's strange. <laughs> But yeah, we're going to call it a night and wrap things up. I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog and following me along with all of my 
housewifely duties of the day. Did a lot today. <laughs> I know. I feel really accomplished, but tired. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night. Yeah.